Now to Kevin Hart. We know him from his hilarious stand-up comedy and hit movies, but he's also a best-selling author. He sat down with our T.J. Holmes to talk about his latest children's book and his children. Good morning, T.J. Hey, Stray, get this. Now, Forbes put out its annual list of highest-paid comedians. They've been doing this since the mid-2000s. For the first 10 years, only one name was at the top of that list, Jerry Seinfeld. It was only Kevin Hart that came along and knocked him from the top of that list in 2016, and the two have been going back and forth. I say all that to say Kevin Hart is doing well, and he has built an empire off of his comedy stand-up and then with his movies, and now to children's books. Got a little empire working there as well. Movie star. Excuse me. She's been, like, crying for hours. Stand-up comic. I snatched the phone. He broke down. He said, come on, daddy, don't do me like that. Two-time children's book author. I'm an example of it, it doesn't have to ever be enough. You don't have to be one thing. You don't have to fall or fit into a category that's been created for you. You can create your own. Kevin Hart has a new book out called Marcus Makes It Big. It's a follow-up to his debut children's book, Marcus Makes a Movie. How do you go about coming up with that story and putting it to paper? I'm big on real life. You know, I think... Uh, Art imitates real moments, real life. So for me, it all stems from something that I've done, something that I can relate to. And in the world of Marcus, uh, you know, from Marcus Makes a Movie to now Marcus, it make, Marcus Makes a Big, it's about the understanding of growth uh, for our youth. And that's a journey that I believe Marcus not only goes on, but, uh, but thrives within. The story focuses on Marcus, a hardworking kid with a dream of showbiz success, something this father of four says he can relate to. The older two, are they this kid? Are they Marcus? My daughter is, uh, she's special. Yeah. Heaven is special. She's interested in so much in the business, not just the in front of the camera world, the behind the camera world. She wants to know how it works. My son recently, he's shown interest in the world of stunts and action, the world of props and, and how a set is not only built but created. What two young babies, I don't know. You don't know what's gonna happen with I don't those. know what's gonna happen with them too. <laughs> that one there got a different look in her eyes, so I gotta, I don't know. What do you see when you look into those eyes? That's the thing, man, they, sometimes they blink. <laughs> Sometimes they're real blank. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth open. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. What you thinking about, baby? Just turn one. Little boss baby. I call a boss baby. Last thing, help parents with the balance uh, between encouraging and supporting a kid's dream versus some realities of the world. Well, first of all, I mean, as parents, we're all different. I don't think any of us have cracked the code on perfection from a parenting perspective. Um, but there is a fine line of supporting a dream and also making sure that there's work done outside of that dream, have other eggs in the basket. But killing, killing the thing that someone has a pure amount of joy in doing, that's never a good thing. That's never a good thing because that's purpose, that's reason. There's reason to, to smile, there's reason to be happy. Especially after so many people have been vocal about just not having that joy or wanting to find that joy. That's something that is desired. So you have to understand that we don't know it all. We don't. And these kids are going to show you some things. Whether you want to admit it or not, they are. Now, granted, don't act shocked when they show you what they show you. Still, keep you cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> All right. Now, who is Kevin Hart's possible inspiration? Rachel Renee Russell. You know that name? She is the author, the black female author behind the Dork Diary series that has made that has like 16 books in it now and sold some 50 million copies worldwide. That's what he has his eye on with Marcus Makes It Big, which is available now in stores, guys. He's thinking big. Thank you, TJ. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.